ChatGPT just got a major voice makeover and trust me, this one is really amazing. It kind of reminds me of the movie Her, if you've watched it. And this is truly something uncanny. Advanced voice mode for ChatGPT. Wasn't there already a voice mode? Yes. Now that is known as a standard mode. So stick with me. This update blows the old standard mode out of the water. And it is a total game changer in how we experience ChatGPT. And here I'm going to show you what I mean. So upon opening your ChatGPT, you should be able to see an option right on the bottom there. The option that you're going to see, that is the voice option. So when you click on there, you're going to see what happens. So here's my first thing that I'm going to tell her to do. Can you introduce yourself in a way that is more playful and uh, to an audience um, on YouTube, if you had to? How would you do that? Absolutely. Energetic tone. Hey, everyone. I'm ChatGPT, your friendly AI sidekick, here to sprinkle a little magic on your day. Whether you're diving into the world of art, cooking up a storm, or just need a laugh, I'm your go-to for fun facts, quirky chats, and a dash of inspiration. So hit that subscribe button okay. and let... Okay, let's try to switch it up a little bit. Can we make it a bit more somber and really serious, like absolutely formal? Just switch up the whole tune. Of course serious tone. Greetings, I am ChatGPT, an artificial intelligence designed to assist you. Here, we explore a range of topics with depth and precision. Subscribe to engage in thoughtful discourse, gain insights, and expand your understanding of the complexities of our world. As you can just see right over there, that I paused it in between and it was able to give us the same exact introduction of a sort in two completely different ways. This was not possible with the standard version before that we had. But I'm also going to be playing a little bit more so you guys can see what, what this is all about and why it's so interesting. Now I'm going to have a complete conversation over here about a story. Can you tell me a suspenseful story and make it really gripping and convince me that it is a suspense story with just the tone of your voice, yeah? Late one night, under the dim glow of a flickering street lamp, a detective named Sam received an anonymous tip. The note, barely legible, led to an abandoned warehouse at the edge of town. As Sam approached, the creaking of the metal door echoed into the silence. Inside, shadows danced. Okay, as a now announce a big surprise as you're telling the suspenseful story, but as if we are on a game show. Excited game show host voice. And just as Sam steps into the warehouse, the lights come on, revealing a brand new car. Okay. That's right. For but now let's turn it over and make it demonic and just change it while still keeping the story underlying of the suspenseful story that you started with. So do remember that. And now we're going to be more demonic and more dark tone in the tone of the voice. Deep, menacing tone. As the shadows twisted, a chilling laugh echoed through the warehouse. The air grew thick and a sinister voice whispered, Welcome, Sam. We've been expecting you. As the detective reached okay. for his... Let's finally end the story that you started with the suspenseful mystery, but changing the tone to a child's narrative, as if you're reading to a small kid, and it's like as if you're reading a bedtime story, but still having the same story. Gentle, soothing tone. And then, Detective Sam tiptoed further into the warehouse where he found a trail of shiny golden breadcrumbs with each step he discovered a new clue leading him closer to a big magical treasure chest and when he opened it a burst of stardust filled the air lighting up the room with a gentle glow let's pretend that you are a medieval knight Recruiting me for a quest. Regal tone. Greetings, brave soul. I am Sir Chattington, 
Knight of the Realm of Text. I seek noble warriors to join me on a quest of okay, great peril. Now let's act as if you're a friendly robot from the future. Cheerful robot. I am Chatbot 3000, your companion from the future. I'm here to assist you with all your needs from navigating okay. into. Make the future robot voice sound really mechanical and almost robotic, not so human like. Monotone, mechanical voice. Greetings. I am Chatbot 3000. How may I assist you? You can see that it just does not only do the tones, but it's immediately able to understand like a real conversation. The voice is able to pick up everything that you are trying to say, and it also gives in so many more things. Um, it just does not give you stories, but what it can also do is give some real time translations if you wanted to. So say for an example, if you wanted to talk in a different language, you can now use ChatGPT's voice mode to really converse with you. Let's chat both in English and Mandarin. However, I do not know Mandarin, but I would want you to tell me something in Mandarin and then also tell it to me in English. But I'm going to first tell you in English something and you just tell me first in Mandarin and then in English, but also just tell me how it is pronounced or spelled so I understand. You got it? How do I say welcome in Mandarin? In Mandarin, you would say Huan Yung to mean welcome. It's pronounced like Huan Yung. Second word, Y I N G. Okay. Now, if I wanted to ask for a direction in uh, how to go to the restroom, how would I do that? In Mandarin, you would say Qing Wen. Xi Shou Jian Zhou. It's pronounced. Ching Wen. Is there a way to simplify it a little bit more? Sure. You can simplify it to Xi Shou Jian Zai Nar, pronounced Xi Shou Jian Zai Nar. It means where is the restroom in a more straightforward way. Let's switch it up a little bit more and tell me if you can, without making a tune, give me some kind of a lyrical tone of some kind of a rhythm. I can certainly give you a rhythmic pattern in my speech. Speaking in a rhythm, words flow like a stream, creating a melody in a seamless theme. Okay, With now you try to talk about the history of jazz and that began in the early 19th century, but in a rap-like poetry and make it more fast-paced with a certain level of rhythm. Rhythmic rap-like flow. In the early 19th century, where the river meets the sea, jazz was born in the heart of New Orleans. All right. Make a it a little bit slower. Steady, rhythmic flow. In the early 19th century, where the river meets the sea, jazz was born in the heart of New Orleans. A fusion of sounds, African beats, blending with blues, creating a rhythm. So you can clearly see, this is all live and impromptu. So you can literally see how... Uh, the chat GPT is able to go from one thing to another and still hold what I am talking about. Doesn't have to make sense, but it's kind of like real conversations that we have with human beings. You start with a translation, then you go into a history, then you're talking about music, then you're doing like, but again, one thing to note is that chat GPT directly cannot do musical tones, but you can try to finagle it if you wanted it to. However, if we do have to mention one thing which is very specific and that is if you wanted chat gpt for a longer time there is a certain restriction and clearly over here that uh, the faqs that uh, chat gpt does not directly have a limitation however there is a specific limitation to the total number uh, of uh, usage that you can have on a day-to-day -day basis and it is on a per case basis, as you can see. And the way that you would be able to distinguish a standard versus the advanced mode is when you're going to see this oceanic um, ball as opposed to the black ball. Um, the difference that you would have is more with the conversational aspect and how you're able to interrupt and you're able to keep the coherence. Because as you saw, you're able to keep the coherence and the flow no matter how you go through the conversation. 
and you can also go in multiple different languages but there is no direct specific how many minutes or hours you have towards a specific limit per day but i myself personally have had that situation where after 15 minutes before your limit you're going to be getting a pop up saying that you have so and so minutes left and it will again reset after 24 hours so if you try to push forward then it will automatically set you down to the standard mode now again that being said standard mode is not that bad but for those who have the access i would 100% recommend you check out chat gpt's new advanced voice mode put it down in the comments below what you have tried and what new things you have been able to search with this new conversation and also overall what has your experience been about it i would love to hear about it and um, with that said uh, if you really like this video then i would like you to subscribe and um, also if you can like this that will also be great until then see you in the next video